outfit check hi everybody i want to talk about textures in this video and i'll try to not make it a 30 minute video um, so let's dive right in i saw a lot of people on social media making crazy spiky soldering jewelry and i'm like i gotta try it right of all the people i have to try to be honest with you i wanted to record this video from an expert standpoint but instead i'm gonna be honest with you and i'm gonna be learning with you how to create soldering texture using soldering iron okay i want to face all the issues that you might be facing when you would be trying to create textures but if i am posting this video it means i succeeded so you're safe to watch to the end okay so in this video we're going to be creating two textures one is the spiky type this one and the other one is basically creating those beads metal beads um for texture from what i know and from my experience i know that the harder the temperature of a soldering iron the less texture you will get so that's the knowledge i have yeah let's figure it out let's break it down let's see how we're going to create the spiky weird dangerous to wear jewelry so first obviously you're gonna tape your piece like we always do right whenever we solder let's start applying solder so I'm going to crank up the temperature because I had a difficult time picking up solder. And I'm going to crank up the temperature only to uh, finish applying solder to my piece. And then we're going to lower temperature back down to 590. Okay? That's the plan of attack. I'm using that same tip. That is a chisel tip, I think it's called. So we're going to be creating spikes. I'm at 650 now. It's cooling off. Let's go for our first spike. So, all right, I'm scared. Mm-hmm, so I'm building something. I've created a spike, I don't know if you can see. It's a spike, but it's not long enough. And I'm sure I'm probably gonna be creating spikes going outwards, not just vertically. So by basically going this way instead of pulling up, so let's create another one. And I can melt. I can always melt. Well, let's build. Oh, it's easy. Okay. Okay, guys. So the, the trick is basically temperature and this tip. Okay, let me melt it off completely. Let me, hopefully you can see. So let me melt it off, look, by just gliding over it. It's gone. Okay. So now let me stand this up. So I'm going to be holding this so you can see like that. Okay. This is my mark. Okay, my mark will be right here so I don't move far. Okay, I'm holding it vertically. So I clean my the tip of the iron. I get some solder onto the tip like that. Just a tiny little bead. And then all you have to do, place it here. That was not enough solder. Let's do more. Place it here. And you pull. And here's your spike. Let's do one more. You place it and you pull, you place it, and then you slowly pull. You, I'm sure there's a way to add, the more solder you add, let's add a lot of solder, see what happens. Yeah, it could be super long. Look, let me make it a very long one. Look, you see? How cool and dangerous to wear. Okay, let's see. I am judging this technique, I am. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see. I get a lot of solder and then I slowly and slowly pulling it up. Let's see, it kind of didn't work out that much. I don't know why. Maybe it was too much solder, so don't put too much solder. Oh, I created a bead. Okay, that's too much solder. Let's, let's repeat it again. So, can I touch it? I can kind of okay, it's it's great. When, once you can hold it in your um, hand, maybe my jewelry is distracting. Let me take this off. We're loading our tip, placing a bead, and immediately pulling it up. Don't spend too much time at the foot of the spike, of a spike. Just lift it up immediately. Okay, let's do it again. And up. I am 
I want to know if you can um, extend Spike once it was created. How cute. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. This is cute. Well, I kind of like this technique. I just don't know how practical it is. I'm being... I'm not being an artist. I'm being an accountant right now. I don't know how practical it is to wear this stuff. You know what I mean? What if people's gonna get... Ooh! Look, a tall one. Cool! So, what I think we should do after this... We should... It's not a cute one. Let's see if we can salvage it. How do you salvage a spike? Probably by melting it off completely. And then redoing it, right? Let's do it again. So, how do you... Um, question is... Do we need to file them at least a little bit? So people don't get hurt? Or do we just say, Merry Christmas, deal with it? It's gift, so you cannot judge me or complain. Cute! Ha! Ooh, look what happened! That's good! Now we know we cannot drop pieces that are not solidified. This is probably not solidified. I didn't know that would happen. Interesting. So, they were probably too fragile. Are they fragile? Are they gonna break? Eventually? That's interesting. Look how many of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Four. Look like five. Like little teeth. Okay. Let's fix this wall. It's interesting what happened. I thought that they're rock solid. Apparently they're not. Interesting. Let's fix it. Let's add more um, beads and then maybe let them cool off. But it's weird. Why would they break like that? Like, I don't like that. That's If that's the case and they're easily breakable, what am I doing wrong? Maybe, like, I'm not spending too much time at the bottom of each little... I look like a little kisses. Kiss... Kiss candy. Interesting. I don't know. I didn't like that. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to be dropping it anymore. But that's so weird. Like, I, I, I'm kind of glad it happened. We will, we will troubleshoot, okay? Yeah, look. Oh, no. Look, they're all coming off. What? Why? Wait, what? Maybe the technique is incorrect. Maybe. Wait, what if I'm gonna apply a lot of sorter first? All of them are so. Uh, this is wild, guys. Let's see, what else? Am, what, what am I doing wrong? Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so... So, with a hotter temperature, they're not as tall. But I feel like with a hotter temperature, there's less chance of them breaking. Because the reason why they're, the reason why they're breaking is because there's not much connection between the base layer and the little um, spike that you're building. So, if it's one solid thing and you build up a spike out of pole of border then it's it's rock solid but if you're trying to place a spike on top of something that you've pre uh sorted it might not stick basically it just becomes a separate thing so um and that i think the temperature's issue so i'm at 700 let's see if we can crank that code at 700 550 and 600 was not it wasn't wasn't hot enough for them to become one piece, one border. One piece with the border, the soldering border that we created. Let's see. Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, it's hot. 700 is too high. 700 is too high. Okay, well, 700 is too high to build the height. 
see what I'm saying? It's too high to build a height. So let's do 650. Whoa, I didn't think that that would be a hole to do. Um, considering myself at times a queen of soldering. There's always so many things to learn. We will crank that code, you know? It's only a matter of time. See, I'm now creating a bead. Pulling it up. Okay, well, let's see. Overall, what if you do this carefully and then you go over with your soldering iron? This is a remedy. That could be a remedy. So if this is happening to you and it's breaking, maybe the remedy is to grab a little bit of solder. So the plan is to secure those little spikes in place. Once I'm done adding that texture, I'm going to crank up my soldering iron to the highest temperature, grab some solder, and then go over those spikes at the bottom, of the, at the foot of each spike, go over with some new solder to keep them in place. This might work. Okay, let's continue. It's kind of a small little one. Okay, so here's how to create a spike. Okay, so you have your surface that you are soldering. You create a border of a surface first. You then set your temperature at 657. Okay, maybe 650 is fine. You make sure your tip is conditioned. You go back to your brass tip cleaner. You hold your soldering iron close to let free solder. You wiggle it. <laughs> you rub it against one another. Oh my gosh. So you pick up some solder like this. You place your soldering tip so that the chisel is flush with the surface. And then you pull. That was anticlimactic. You do it again. You place your um, soldering tip so it's flush with the surface and then you pull. And then you place it and then you pull. So then the problem was them being brittle, right? So to solve this we're gonna crank up, this is so sharp, <laughs> we're gonna crank up our soldering iron to the highest temperature, we're gonna get more solder and we're gonna quickly run at the bottom, at, at a foot of each little peak, okay, to secure them in place. You are a danger melting them off, but we live in the edge and that's fine. So I'm going to run a little bit of solder at the foot of each monster. And that, in theory, I'll wear this and I'll let you know how secure this is. Because everything that I make, I swear by. And I don't know about this one. Okay. The monster is ready. The monster is ready. Okay? Let me chat with you. I like everything grungy, usually. I like all this punk rocky stuff, obsessed. Like, I dress sometimes punk rocky. Like, I like that. 100%. I've always been kind of against dangerous jewelry. <laughs> Let me show you. So, this... So, I literally was following social media. I can't even pick it up. It's so, it's so sharp. But people are selling those pieces on Etsy and I'm being like a skeptical millennial and I don't know if I would be comfortable selling anything like that online because you can't even touch it, okay? Yes, you can tone it down by using a little bit of Dremel and uh, dulling the tips of this monster. We created a monster because we've created a monster, you know? I'm an advocate of a jewelry uh, that will withstand 
washing of dishes, washing your hands, shaking each other's hands, not hurting one another. But this is definitely a trend. I saw it on Instagram. People are going crazy with that. Some girls are soldering and I love the look. Don't get me wrong, but it's sharp. <laughs> Again, like maybe I'm just becoming a skeptical millennial and that's what I am and I will um will not change my mind. So let's create some beads some bead texture using this piece and probably using the same tip of the um, sorry iron because I managed accidentally create to create few while using this so let's give it a try hopefully it's gonna be less stressful and it's definitely gonna be smoother I would like to learn how to do texture like that because I need it myself spikes is not my thing probably but beads might be let's see so, this is our friend. We're gonna use some, we're gonna try to create a little texture. So I'm just waking it up with some flux. Cause I soldered it a long time ago too. So this is another issue. Those pieces were soldered some time ago or copper tape was attached some time ago. Maybe if it's all fresh. It would have not been an issue like I was facing when you saw with um, spikes not being, not adhering to the base. Like what? Okay, I'm cleaning my tip by rotating it in, in rows and flux. I'm turning on the fan. So let's see. Let me zoom you in. All right. Move feathers out of the way. So I'm gonna place a bead. All I do, all I know how to do are spikes now. Can you see what I'm doing? Today's a challenging day because I'm usually like, especially with soldering, I'm usually pretty good, but these looks like some alien poops. I'm sorry, but that's kind of like not what we're going for. You know? They're all very dull too. Someone just asked me a question, why would soldering be dull? And I said it would be temperature. But now I'm thinking maybe it's not temperature, it's the tip. All this science. Really? Yeah, spikes are easier than beads. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Me don't like it. Let's see what other tips do we have. Maybe we have a different tip. Maybe a tip is the, the issue. Maybe the issue is the tip, not me. Let's try a different tip for this. Let's try this um, This round. It's different from the one I had because the one I had is really spiky, right? Was it? Which? Where's my original? My favorite tip. Where did I put it? My favorite trusty, beautiful. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to unscrew it when it's hot. No, not. I have to wait till it cools off. Ugh! So what am I doing wrong?
So I know it's supposed to be a tutorial and I know I supposed to have it all figured out, but I don't. And maybe it's okay for me to share this because maybe that's how sometimes you guys feel when you are facing something new and maybe it's okay for us to not be great at something right away. It hurts my ego a lot, but I don't like the texture. What am I doing wrong? Like is this the is is it is the tip is the issue? Hmm. You know? You see? I mean, I've created some beads. If I were to polish them with Dremel and some wool, they would become shiny again. They are kind of beads, but I don't know. Like maybe maybe it's right and I'm just being silly or maybe it's not. I definitely was able to create spikes. So I think I'm going to be still posting this because it's good sometimes to fail and see someone else that you might be learning from fail. And um, I think it's okay. I'll get better at creating beads because I mean, I don't like it right now at all. This one, I do like the look. The more I look at it, the more I dig it, I get it. But... I don't know how to handle you because you are dangerous. This is like weapon. Checking for sturdiness. Sturdy. That was a good little solution to add more solder to melt all those little mountains that you created uh, together. And I would do the same thing in the back. But just be careful not to melt the whole thing off, as I mentioned. The beads. I was kind of quiet. didn't even share with you what I was doing. But the way I was creating those beads, I don't think I even talk to you through that but basically very similar to how we created spikes but instead of pulling up I would just stay to at the tip of the bead that's it so that's all I would do I would not pull it up but I would grab a lot of soda more than I usually would need um, and then I would drop that drop onto my soldering base and then I would hold it there and then that's what I would do I don't know like and it didn't work out I mean, it has some... T I mean, it's an interesting texture. It's like organic. I've done it in the past, but some people create those beautiful droplets of solder, and I don't know how to do it. Here are our two pieces. So this was without any beads. This is with beads. And this is the spiky one. And the back. You know? Sometimes it's like that, and that's okay. Yeah, I hope this video was still fun, even though I'm sorry I am not happy with this result. But I hope you guys learned something still. And let me know in the comments below what would you like me to show you. I know I've talked about soldering iron, how to use it multiple times. You guys seem to like that those kind of videos. But what would you like me to show you? Let me know in the comments below. What are your issues? What's going on with you soldering? What's working? What's not working? Let's try to troubleshoot together. Uh, don't give up. Like you can, there's some stuff that, you know, there's some methods that work, some methods that don't. Making a ring for me is so easy. I can make a beautiful amethyst ring in 10, 15 minutes. But this was more challenging. I spent like, how much did I spend? I spent one hour, 40 minutes on those two pieces. Yeah. So. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for all your sweet comments. You guys always make my day. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let me know if you want me to do day in my life. Like if you want me to maybe sew something with you. I know it's like a soldering crew here. But if you want me to show you how to make malas. Or chakra balancing bracelets. Or wash your pieces after soldering. All the time. With soap and water. And condition the tip. Okay, condition the tip, condition the tip by attaching some lead free solder onto the tip once you turn off the soldering iron. Condition, you see how it's conditioned? It's covered with solder, it's not gonna be rusty. Okay, don't forget to condition your tip. <laughs>